Hey, hey, dudes. Yeah, what's up? Are you ready to get crazy right now? I'm so ready. I don't even... I don't know what we're about to get into. I just know it's going to be something Rusty Lake. <laughs> and it's co-op. And it's like, yeah. uh, I don't know. I, I have no idea what, what's about to happen to us. But this is going to be great. This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to play this with you. It is. I'm excited. Do we have to join a thing together? I'm going to select new game. Yeah, let me get this shit. Mine's open, but it's still doing the intro, so. Okay, the Pass Within co-op. We both need to have a game. Great. You can each play Pass Within to your preferred platform. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. Great. Next. Both need to communicate yeah, via voice think, chat. I think it's like we just sync it up. Like we each choose if we're A or B or something like that, right? Oh uh, yeah, are you isn't, are you in the room? The... Yeah, because last time when we played the demo, it wasn't like oh you do a thing. You literally just select A or B. I think that's what we did. Yeah. Um. Hold on. I'm adjusting. Do you want to talk online? Use stuff. our free Discord. Next. Hmm. It's having. Oh, there we go. It found it. God, that's loud though. Yeah, I had to turn down the volume. Mama like mia, crazy. pasta pizza. Yeah. Uh, pasta chat, pizza. Let me know if that's okay. Pasta la pizza, baby. A place where memories are captured in little cubes. Ooh. You are here together. You both have a choice between the past and the future. Make sure you don't make the same choice. Oh, instead of A and B, we're choosing past and future? Oh, my goodness. Oh, interesting. This is going to be a real treat. Are you messing with the volume? Um, I've messed with the volume now. Okay. I'm going through the instructions. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. What do you want to be? The past or the future? I mean, uh, I'm more future forward. Okay. I can be the past. I'm fine with that. All right. Okay. I'll select future. I've selected past. You chose the past. Did the other person choose the future? Yes. Can you hear the person in the future? Do you trust the person in the past? What? What? <laughs> yes? I'm going to say yes. Yes. <laughs> choose between the butterfly or the bee. I mean, Make I'm sure choosing the butterfly. the person in the future chooses the same. Okay, we both choose the butterfly. Make sure the person Did the person in the, the future butterfly. choose the same? Yes. You have chosen the I'm butterfly. I'm sure you're ready to start. Yes. Is the person in the future ready? Is the person Are in the past ready? ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Why is this yes. like this? I love this. Let's go. Me too. Let's make some memories. Quick the future. Continue. The past. One. What? Okay, I found... Okay, I have a letter. Shall I read it to you? I'm sorry. You have a letter? Yes. Okay, yes, please. Rusty Lake, January 1926. My dear daughter Rose, if you find this letter, I'm no longer part of this world, although there is hope. Over the last couple of months, I have been working on a device to establish contact with a trustworthy person in the future. Be aware, the room you are in now may be affected by this person. Please open the box first and await further instructions. Your loving father, Albert. I... I don't know if I mentioned this when we played the demo, but Ancho Illuminati, shameless plug for for my weird paranormal creepy town podcast. Uh a while ago we did a we did like a like an episode about how there was a story I think it was in the UK about this family that found an old computer and this might, I mean, it might have been a new computer because I think it took place in the 70s. Oh my but it was God, an old computer. totally told me this, yes. Yeah, and they like talk to someone from the past. Mm -hmm. And the person in the past is like, uh, you know, when, when facts and stuff are wrong, he does the, oh, wow, I was testing you, that kind of thing. So it seemed kind of fake, but also was yeah. super interesting because it also, there was information that only a person from that time period would know or in the future. It was like super crazy. This feels like that. And yeah, I think I mentioned this in the demo we played, but. I don't know if that was a inspiration for this game, but damn, is that cool? Yeah. Uh, on my screen, mm -hmm. I have clicked to zoom in, and I have a box. This is that uh, magic future box. The um, box with nine nine buttons, right? Which well, it I think is, is a, in the demo. It is a box with 
Uh, six buttons up front, a place for a hard disk drive, um, a, looks like a bunch of other shit along the side of it. It looks like it has a, uh, boom box in the back, and, uh, I think on the side is some sort of takeout restaurant, okay. and then, uh, I have an eerie moth-esque ink blot. Maybe that's a butterfly okay. ink blot. And then I also have, on the side of my screen... Way in the distance that I can't get, apparently, a screwdriver in a cup. <laughs> so, there's that. There's that. Okay. So, the only things that I have are the letter. Mm -hmm. um, the date, 1926, is underlined. Okay. And then I have a, I have a box. Please open the box first and await for their instructions. So, I have a box with nine buttons on it and I can click them all in individually. So I think let you me, probably have to tell me which buttons to yeah, click. Yeah, let in. me click this uh click to zoom in thing. So I have a power button and I've turned on the computer box. It's loading. Okay. It says cubicle device. Welcome to cubicle device 018F. This cubicle device holds a memory that contains the room of the person in the past. What? Press enter to continue. Please enter to continue. Uh. You are about to establish a connection with the person in the past. Warning! Any interaction may affect the room inside this device. Okay. To verify mm -hmm. access, please submit the year of memory. You said it was 1921? 1926. 26. Okay, enter to confirm. Access granted. Please communicate the following information to the person in the past. Okay, so you said you had nine things to press, yes? Nine buttons, yeah. Okay, so um, if it is arrayed in a three by three pattern, you're looking at, uh, do you want me to do a cross or down first? Like what's the vibe you, you want me to, to tell you? Um, Left to right across, please. Okay. Uh, the middle and the right are flashing, so maybe those are ones that you press. Yep, okay. And then on the second row, the left and right are flashing, so maybe press those. Okay. And then the bottom row, the middle and right are flashing. It opened. Excellent. I have a, I have matches now. Okay, enter. And I was able to step into the room. So originally I was looking at a table, and now I can back up. Okay. Please confirm I'm the person in the past. Open the box. Oh That's a confirmation. God. Yes. Yes, I opened the box. Can I tell you to do something really quick? What the? F Never mind. I'll wait. <laughs> uh, sorry. No, my entire screen went crazy, and a giant butterfly appeared on like a like a six bit butterfly appeared, and then matches fell from the sky. And now um, I have matches. I was going to tell you, if you hit the options cog and then see current mode. Options cog, current mode, the butterfly. Yeah. What is that? What does so, that mean? I guess there's like maybe multiple ways to play through it, depending on how you answer those questions at the start. What? What the hell just happened? It's me. Okay. What the sh what the ding dong diddly dicks? What? Okay. Uh, I opened the matches you sent me, and inside is a knob, and matches. But I I have the I have a knob of some sort now that I think I can use on my computer somehow. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. So I have a switch that says P seventeen. Um, that I can turn on, but before I do anything, I'm going to wait and see what's going on with you. Please fill me in. Okay, so I backed up from the table. Mm -hmm. There is now a mirror, and I can see myself, and I am young Rose. Okay. Um, Ooh, I like that. Yeah. There's um, a little bowl on that same table that I was looking at at the start, uh, but it's empty, and I can't seem to move it. Uh, there is a dresser with... Um, three drawers that all need keys. 
and a clock on top of the dresser. So that's oh. one wall. Okay. Well, let me... <laughs> oh. Maybe I can help you determine um, what you need to look for by turning the switch on, and maybe something will pop up, and I can give you kind of a clue. Sure, because there's... One, two, three... Yeah, because there's four... I mean, there's four walls for me to look at. So if you sure. want to kind of describe to me what you're seeing, maybe I can... Okay, so I don't know if this affects you at all, but the switch says P17. No clue what that means. Uh, but when I turned it on, four images appeared. The first one is a moth. The second one is a raven, or probably Mr. Crow, probably. Uh, the third one is a family. And the... Um, or I guess maybe just two people. I don't know. They're family. And then the last one is like a gingerbread man kind of looking guy. And okay. I have the ability to press these and turn them. So I can make one into a house. I can make one into a tree. Yes, yeah, so my options are uh, moth, house, tree, raven, uh, couple, and then um, gingerbread man. Okay. So I know which wall I need to be looking at for you. Let me describe to you what I see. Okay. Um, there are uh, four pictures on the wall. The going from left to right, the first one is a round frame with a raven in it. The second one is a square frame with a butterfly that says the butterfly on it. The third one is a tree, a square frame with a tree. And the fourth one is a square frame with Rose and Albert in it. Well, that worked. It lit up and... I now have symbols to give you, it looks like. Great. Oh, boy. How are we going to do this? Okay. The symbols I have in order... Again, this is two at the top row, two at the bottom row. I don't know if that affects you at all, but that's what it is. Uh -huh. um, top row, sort of a line and a circle looks like a P. And then the next one is uh, just a very long T. And then the bottom row is... Sort of a little tiny O and a big S. And then one that kind of looks like, um, I don't know, the side view of headphones or maybe a little sperm. Whatever the, whatever works for you. Okay. Yep. That got me to, I opened up a box. I got coal from that. Okay. Coal is, whoa, I see a little rat. What the shit? Fella, what are you doing? What the? Okay. What the shit? I'm going to, there's what? a, there's a little, um like old coal stove. So I'm putting the coal in there and then maybe lighting it. Okay. All right, hold on. It says that, um, it says the family, family access acquired, communicate symbol sequence warning. The room inside the device may suffer from overheating. Use three sliders to adjust a uh, smoke gas discharge. What? Okay, so yeah, there's there's three little sliders here, and I think I'm supposed to tell you where each slider is supposed to be. Yes, because on the back of this uh, thing is, uh, it looks like a three slider puzzle. Yes. Okay, so the top one, do you see, are they lines with five dashes on them? Absolutely, yes. Okay, so the top one, the second dash is lit up from the is left. Is that from the start? So is it three? technically three like the direct middle or is it one two? Oh, so so the the start i'm considering a dash great so it would be one over yes gotcha okay um the second one is four so one to the right from the center gotcha and then the last one is the very first dash Okay, um, I got a battery. I pulled a battery out of that. It seems to be working. Okay. I see some... It's venting smoke. I don't know if that's good or not, <laughs> but I guess that's good for you. Yeah, there's lots of smoke in here. So maybe smoke gas discharge good. adjusted. Activate ventilation system. Acti yes, please do. <laughs> if you can. How do I do that? Is that this? Oh, yeah, I have the battery, and we do this. All right, it's venting, and it says 1715. I assume it's a time. 17, 15. Oh, right. Okay. Yes, I see what you mean. And the um, fan blew away the paper that had the moth on it. And underneath that was what appears to be 
a key and a slide, a photo slide. So I have a key and a photo slide now. Okay, there's wind blowing through the room now. Everything is blowing in the wind. Sorry, what did you what have you found? A photo slide? I found a slide and a key. My screen says ventilation system activated, communicate time, which I, I just did, 1715, and then says unlock lens, use three lens switches to peek inside the room of the person in the past. What? I'm gonna assume it's this? Um, can I tell you what's happening on my end? I don't um, know if it'll be helpful, but... I'm gonna click this thing really... It says I can use this lens to peek into the past. Oh, wait, never mind. Okay, so I have on my screen a lens I can look through to see you, okay. I guess. But around that lens are three symbols. One is an arrow, one is a cross, and one is sort of a line with a circle on it. Uh, that must do something, so I, I guess I'm relying on you now. Okay, so, um, so one of these walls has a casket with Albert's picture over it. Oh boy, okay. Um, a rose to one side and then some candles on the other. I think I need to collect one more candle. Um, there's one missing, but I found another one. Albert's picture, it, because now there's all this wind going through. Albert's picture fell to the ground and shattered. Ooh, okay. And behind the photo, it said, Dear Rose, wear the mask yourself. Oof. Um, with hmm. a key. So I'm going to open one of these drawers. Okay, go ahead. Uh, not that one. Ooh, this one. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So now I look in the mirror and I put on the mask, I guess. <gasps> okay. I put on the mask and now it's snowing in here. Snowing? Use the three lens switches to peek inside. The How three I... lens switches. So I have what appears... It's kind of like a clock almost. Not really. Uh, It's... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, I mean, it has twelve segments, um, and it's kind of like a clock, I guess. Uh, Does it have an six, eyeball seven, in eight, the middle? Nine. Um, the uh, the eyeball might be where I'm supposed to be looking, because I'm looking through to the past to see you, I guess. Oh, I see. Okay, so yeah, there's a door here, um, that has like a stained glass, uh sort of design on it. Mm -hmm. One of the doors, the bottom half of the door of the stained glass design is a circle um, with, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 sections. Okay. This, the center is an eye um, and three of them have, three of the, the sections have symbols in them. Where are those, where are they at? Starting from the bottom center. Uh-huh. Go to the left twice. That okay. is one. It has an arrow symbol. Understood. Okay. Starting from bottom center again. Go to the right one. And it has um, like a, a stick with a ball on the end. Gotcha. And then one more over to the right, and it has a cross. And now I am looking back into the past. Sick. Okay, so, boy. Um, to give you an example of what I see now, I see yeah, yeah, yeah. double doors. Perhaps uh, windows, but it looks like doors with stained glass in them. Mm -hmm. And on the left, I see an eyeball with the circle stuff that you were talking about. And ab yep. above that, I see uh, a stag head with horns, a, like a skeleton yep. with horns. It's the exact thing I'm looking at, yep. And then on the right side, I see um, six different mini panes. One is the mm -hmm. infamous cube. Uh, yep. and those That's at the bottom. And next to that is a knife, probably the same knife used to, I don't know, slice a certain person's throat. Um, sure. Then above that is kind of this weird... 
The white mask. Yeah, it looks like a white mask. And then above that is a pyramid going up, like a big, like, almost like a beam of light coming from the sky above other pyramids, which could be mountains. But then mm -hmm. there are two to the, to the left of that. The top row left and middle row left are white versions. Uh, one looks like it's a tree, and the other one above it looks like, I don't know, like come, some kind of paper boat or something. But they're white. I like think it's the, meant the, to be a butterfly. Yeah, like I don't know if that they're means we white. can change there stuff. There we go. Okay, I made both of them white on my end, and now um, uh, which of the 12 lots are white has changed. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll tell you the new ones, yeah? Um, yes, go for it. Okay. Because I think, sorry, I, I might have done that fast. So basically, like, the I see the exact same six pictures mm -hmm. in the stained glass, mm -hmm. um, but they were all colorful. But when I click on them, they turn white. So when you told me that two of them were white, I clicked them, gotcha. and, then, and then the eyeball thing changed. Okay, talk so, to me about that. So uh, bottom center now mm -hmm. is lit up with the arrow. All right, arrow bottom center. Um, starting from the bottom center, go two to the left, and that's where the cross is. Okay. And then starting from bottom center, go four to the right, and that's where the stick with the ball is. All right, I'm back in. Okay. Oh, what this time. See? This time, exact same screen, except uh, the entire of those six, the entire uh, right side, all three is white. And then the butterfly is white still as well. Okay. We're in business. Okay. New ones. Ready? All right. Talk to me. Starting from the bottom center go to the left one and that's the stick and ball all right bottom center left one stick and ball on it starting from the bottom center three to the right is the cross all right done starting from the top center one to the left is the arrow all right i'm back in great and this time butterfly still and then the bottom two Oh, things are turning. <gasps> oh, shit. The door opens now. All right. I guess we achieved that then. Okay. Do you see anything different yet? Um, Visual contact with the person in the past achieved. Flip the six switches to the correct position. Insert floppy disk. Flip the six switches to the correct position. Oh, I see. Okay. So I have... Six switches on my uh, screen right now, and they're all facing mm -hmm. up. So at a certain point, I just need to know where they go. Okay. You have six switches that you need to do something with. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So the uh, so I'll tell you I'll tell you what I see. Oh. <laughs> Not the, I'm literally staring at six switches, oh and you're like, this is just like playing I'm Dead sorry. Space 3. No, I, this is, <laughs> I'm like, Dodger, what are you seeing? I'm, like, I'm seeing some cool I'm sorry, shit. I'm I'm sorry. Like, mm. No, I, I found what you need. I'm just going to describe to you what I see, though. So the, the door is open. Okay. Um, there's a new dresser here that can obviously slide open, but I can't slide it open yet. There's a strange contraption that kind of looks like the back of an old camera, you know, okay. like when they would open it up and they would have like slots for everything, yeah, but yeah, all yeah. of the slots are empty. Um, there is a small uh, fabric doll hanging from the ceiling. Um, the last candle that I needed, so I've grabbed that. And then there, the thing that made me go <laughs> was uh, there's, um, I can't remember what they're called, but the, the sort of, uh, windows on like a submarine. Yes. Okay. To see out into the water. Little, There's one of those. And when I clicked holes. on it, there was a hyper. Yeah. Uh, there was a hyper realistic eye through one of those. Cool. Cool. All yeah. right. But but once I clicked that on the floor, there was suddenly a bunch of paper, which is why I got distracted. Understood. And one of the papers shows what to do with six switches. So okay. I can describe this to you now. Walk me through. Okay. Are the switches for you um, two rows of three? Yes. 
Okay, fantastic. So starting with the the um, top row from the left, it's down, down, up. Whoop, whoop. Okay. And then bottom row is up, down, up. All right, floppy taken. Okay, and now I insert oh the floppy God. disk in the front, I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Loading extraction program. Uh, well, I found Albert Vanderbloom. Boom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> and it, uh, what it says right now is even though it is Albert Vanderbloom, the, uh, there are flashing lights, right? Or flashing letters. And... I don't know whether you're going to need the flashing white letters or the letters that are solid green. I do not know, but um, okay. if you need a code, I've got you. Okay. So the <laughs> just so, just so that you know what I'm looking at, the other the other two papers down here, um, the thing that I thought was like the back of a camera is apparently called the cubicle device. Um, this cubicle device needs... Uh, three pieces of Albert's dead body. Well, I mean, of the, course it does. Well, like, uh, yeah. Does. The bone, the flesh, and the blood. And I have instructions on another piece of paper to open his casket and take his tooth, his blood, and his ear to put inside of this device. Well, the good news is <laughs> when I loaded this program, a casket appeared before me in sort of like, you know, a digital casket. And Albert Vanderboom was what the casket said. And on that, okay. certain letters are flashing. So maybe that's helpful to you. Okay, let me click on the... Okay, yes. Which letters are flashing? So the flashing letters are A-R-T and B-M. N-B-M? Yes. N-B-M. There we go. She's open, dude. Oh, God. All right. Hi, Dad. Anything in your pocket? Oh, there was. Nice. <laughs> okay. Please enter the validation question after coffin is opened. What is closest to the heart of Albert Vanderboom? Four letters. Um, it R V D B. Oh, the wrong way with that. Okay. It's a pic. It's a picture of Rose with her dolly, but it says R V D B on it. All right, enter confirm. The person in the past places the altar key and obtains three substances, bone, flesh, and blood. Select instructions. Oh boy. All right, I guess I'll select bone instructions. Unlocking hatch. Go to the hatch. Communicate teeth sequence with the person in the past. Obtain oh bone. God. Well, all right. Okay. Got to go to the the hatch. Oh. Oh. There's a teeth hatch on the back of this thing. This is going to be great. Um Good. <laughs> I'm imagining, I don't know what you're seeing, but what mine looks like is a digitized it's like several buttons, a top row of buttons and a bottom row of buttons that almost makes you feel like teeth. You know what I mean? Like if I was looking at a digital mouth, like a robot mouth, these would be okay. teeth. Okay. And uh, only one is blinking. Okay. Well, I just um, I just got a device that I think is one of those things. You know that game where you have to put a thing in your mouth that keeps your lips open and then you have to try to say words? Yes. Yes, 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 I yes, think yes. that's what I just grabbed. So I think I'm about to pry this man's mouth open. Yep. Like, like okay. you should. Which, like you should. <laughs> all right. Which which tooth am I ripping out of my dad's mouth? Uh, Bottom row, one over from the furthest right. Okay. I clicked that and... um. One over from the furthest left on the top is now wiggling. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll click that. One over from furthest left on the top. Okay, now go uh, two to the right. So one, two. From the wiggling tooth? Yes. Okay, 
Um, bottom row, uh, third in from the left is now wiggling. All right. So counting the first one, it's one, yes. two, three. Yes. All right. Okay. And then three over from that one to the right. Okay. Um, four uh, top row, four over from the right is wiggling. Okay. And then two to the right for you. Okay. Um, bottom row, five in from the left. All right. One, two, three, four, five. And then for you, top row, diagonal to the right. Okay, got it. Are you good? I got a tooth, but a new one is wiggling. <laughs> if you want to like that? follow that. Yeah, we might as well. Um bottom row, second in from the left. Alright. Okay, we got a we got a special star. Oh hell yeah. That's pretty good. I'm sure that uh we'll see how many of those we actually need to get the real true ending. You know how this works. Yeah, of course. Um, mm -hmm. okay, so nothing else? Ugh, I hate that. Yeah, it says press X to return. Um, okay. and enter confirm. We confirm that we did it. Did the person in the past obtain the bone? I did. All right. Yes. Okay. I am now going to put the tooth in the tooth slot of this device. Okay. The person in the past places the altar key. Yeah, okay. Uh, it wants me to say, do we want to do flesh or do you want to do blood next? Um, I want to do flesh next. All right. Flesh it is. Unlocking the flesh hatch. Go to the hatch. The person in the past should light all candles and place diary. Light all candles. Okay. Two, three, oh, four. Oh, lovely. Oh, swell. Five. Ah, a key that I assume I will get the diary with. Yep, here we go. Okay. Place the diary where? does it say? Uh, it just says place the diary. Light all the candles, place the diary. I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to make the assumption that this extra bonus one goes right here. Well, of course it does. Oh, okay. oh, 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 oh. I know where to put it. I'm a goofy guts. There we go. Albert Vanderboom Diary. I once caught a butterfly as a child. It was mine, but my sister stole it. Okay. Um, okay. So there when you said squares. that, on my screen, I once caught a butterfly. It was mine. My sister stole it. There's a photo um, mm -hmm. of Vanderboom with a butterfly, and then his sister is in the shot with him. There are four squares, bottom right. Bottom right. Okay. Next one, Ida, she left me with a broken heart with four squares again. Ooh, she left me with a broken heart. Is there any hint of what? So in order of slides on my screen, after I, when I select next with the, you know, the butterfly sister thing, the next mm -hmm. one is him uh, staring directly at me with two chess pieces, one Clearly looks like it's probably the the Mr. Crow okay, Raven Okay, I found man. the right page. Yep, I found the right page. I know that when I lose a game of chess, my first life will end. Okay, that is top left. Okay, what's your next one? The next one is him laying on the ground as the shadow man, and maybe this is when she left me? I don't know, but that one's top right. Um, Shadow man... It's like, you know, the guy who shows says, up every once in a while to scare the shit uh, out of us. Yeah, my dark soul will live on into the future waiting for resurrection, maybe? That's probably it, yeah. Which one? Uh, top right. Top right? Okay. What next? The next one is him with a child. Um, That's bottom left. Okay. The birth of my daughter, Rose, was the greatest achievement of my life. Great. Yes. Okay. Next. Then it's uh, a beautiful redhead, my kryptonite, 
And um, that's top right. Okay. And then the last one, I've been working on the cubicle device to establish a connection with the future. Bottom right. Oops. Yep. Cool. Cool, I got a knife. This won't be horrifying. Let's go. <laughs> You're gonna need some flesh. That should be fine. I just need some flesh, dude. I just yeah, need that should, flesh. that should be That's okay. All. Don't even stress it. Don't even worry okay. about it. Got it. You yeah. know, they made that really painless for yeah, me, yeah, yeah. not for him. Yeah. Okay, you have flesh obtained? Flesh obtained. I'm Confirm. putting it in the Did device. Did you get it? Yes. All right. Blood time. Unlocking hatch for blood, I guess. Do you need um, a six-digit code, maybe? I may. Go to hatch. Communicate print information with person in the past. Find secret compartment. Okay. So, so. yeah. Do you want me to tell you what I see? A hatch just opened, and there is a code system. Um, XYZ123 is what it says. Oh. Do I click them? No. So on my end, it's 3XZY21. So same same ones, but in a different order. 3XZY21. Yeah, yes. that works. And then there's like sort of what looks like a gem um, drawn on there, but there's no gem. All right. So um, we just got a message from the past or future, I'm not sure. It says, okay. there is a message behind the tree. And then oh it has goodness. several, um, oh. like, I don't know. Yes. Okay. Ready? Yeah. X, two, Y, one, three, Z. X, two, Y, one, three, Z. All right. There's a message in your own reflection. Okay. This should be fine. This Ready? should be fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It just flooded it's... with blood. Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Y X three one Z two. Y X. Uh oh. Y X three one Z two. Oh, I have a printout of the room you're in, I believe. Hmm. Okay, so, um, what are you facing right now? I'm facing the um, the dresser that I'm getting all of the items from to take the flesh blood, whatever. And I assume to your left is a coffin? Uh, to my right is the coffin. So I'm looking at the, co uh, wait, wait. I'm looking at the coffin now. <laughs> okay. So if you're looking at the coffin, to your left um, is the, the the thing, if you like turn to the left, the thing mm -hmm. on your furthest right is what you should be clicking on. Something over there. Th there's an arrow pointing to that. Oh, okay. Yep. I got a spoon and another code. Ready? Okay. X, Z, Y, three, one, two. X, Z, Y, three, one, two. Eat your hot soup and you will find a gift. Okay. I, I, <laughs> Good luck. That's cold soup. Oh, okay. I have to heat it up over here probably. You gotta eat that hot soup. Mm, good soup. Hot soup. Oh, maybe I pour it into the bowl from the start? Yes, eat my soup and get a gem. Fucking hell yeah. Put the jemmy in the gem gem and get a bunch of weird shit. Okay. I'm getting blood out with a cotton swab. Far be it from me. <laughs> I am yep. so excited okay. to watch what you're looking at after we're done because I imagine it's insane. If it's anything like like how these games are, I imagine you're seeing the craziest shit, and I'm literally looking at a computer. This is my normal job. I'm just doing my normal, <laughs> everyday job right now. Okay, I've put the blood in the machine. Okay. And I got a new letter. All right. I got a coin, and then the new letter says, 
Rusty Lake, January 1926. My dear daughter Rose, when you read this letter, you have activated the device I have been working on. When used in the right way, it can help the person in 1984. It is your task to transfer bone, flesh, and blood to the future to initiate the resurrection process. Cool. So Your cool. Your loving father, Albert. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, yeah, Very yeah. Cool. Okay. So am I done with this? Is there any other code I need to enter? Uh, I think that's done. Yeah. Okay. A coin. What am I supposed to do with a coin? Um, let me press enter to confirm. Did the person in the past obtain blood? Yes. Okay. Press enter to complete. Please confirm that the person in the past obtained three substances enter the year of the future. 1984, right? Yes, 1980, 1984. Yep. Enter. Oh, that's... Yeah. So a giant evil red tree appeared on my screen, and <laughs> then a cassette popped out. And now okay. I have a cassette tape that says, insert cassette tape and communicate time. Open chessboard. Both of you complete game of chess. What? Okay. Yep. I know what, I know what that is. <laughs> so I have, I have a, a chessboard um, that's like battleship style. So one side is one, two, three, four, five, six, and the bottom is A, B, C, D, E, F. I must stress to you that this room is becoming more and more visible to me, or I'm just starting to notice stuff. <laughs> There's like things in this room that are, I think I see at the end of the room, the resurrection chamber, and I have a feeling I'm going to end up over there at some point. So, Oh my God. This okay. should be fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. So I'm going to take the tape and put it in the, uh -oh. I'm going to open the tape thing, put the tape in, uh -huh. close the tape thing yes, and press play and... All right, so it's playing a sweet jam, and it okay. says 1945 is the time. Oh, okay. Let me change the clock. Um, uh, uh, 19 is seven. So I guess the beats were too were too were too hard, because the glass that held the screwdriver fell off the table. Oh my and god! I, I can hear the music. You can Everything's hear the music. rattling in here. The music's thumping in here. Everything's rattling. Everything's rattling here too. But I got a screwdriver, so that's okay. Should I stop it? Oh, I got the last key. I'm trying to make sure I can't like make something with this. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but I'm doing this anyway. Do it, there's, whatever it there's is. There's a panel on my uh, uh, side of my thing that can be unscrewed, and I'm going to unscrew the shit out of this. I don't okay. know if this is what I'm supposed to do. It didn't tell me to do this, but this is where... Ah, uh, it's a chessboard. Okay. We now are playing chess, I guess. It, that's what it wanted me to do. Okay. Yeah, so the last the last drawer of that dresser, I, I got a key for, and I now have a black chess piece and a white chess piece. I have the exact the same. Okay. Um, do you have any anything that tells you like where these pieces should go? I have nothing that tells me where they should go. I have an A it one is at one A and one is at one F at the moment. Okay, which one is which? Uh black is one A, white is one F. Oh, okay. So now um, the white piece moved to 3F. Okay. Black piece moved to 5A. White piece moved to 3A. Black piece moved to 2D.
white piece moved to 1C. Black piece moved to 2B. White piece moved to 6C. Black piece moved to 6F. Oh. White piece moved to 6A, and I got another coin. I got another floppy Oops. disk. I'm still not sure where these go. Interesting. Was there any... Did it move again at all? Nope. Okay. Nope, a little compartment opened with a coin, and that was it. Great. Both of you complete game of chess to obtain red floppy disk. That is what happened. What the shit? Ratso, what are you doing? Where are you, what the, where are you going, Ratso? Uh, what? wait, just to make sure, just because now I'm second guessing. Mm -hmm. Um, do you still have the chessboard? I do. So, is the white piece at six A? It is. Okay, and the black piece is at 6F? It is. Okay, great. Just There's don't want us to miss out on any on any stores. There's a little tiny cute rat that keeps showing up, and he's like, chirp, chirp, and he keeps looking at parts of my machine, but I'm not sure what he's trying to tell me. Aw. I got one part left, that's for sure. All right, um, it says both of you obtain the... Both of you complete chess game, and I get the red floppy disk, which I have, and I assume... Okay. Uh, do I press enter? No, I guess I just pop this one out. Get out of there. Yellow floppy oh. and put in red floppy and... Loading power surge program. Well, this will be fun. And this... Okay, I just saw the shadow man and now it's... Okay, well, okay. The person in the past places coins on the eyes of the deceased. Warning, this may cause corruption of the soul. Uh... Okay, so that's what I got to do. Yep. One coin, two coin. Okay, he's now the shadow man. Oh my god. Let me let me try something really quick. Um, he's gooping out of the coffin. All right, never mind. He's gooped out of the coffin. He's crawling away. He's crawling away from the coffin. He's. <laughs> He's um, crawling up the smokestack. The fire has turned blue. Uh, he's behind the table now. There are... Oh, oh, my God. The program causes a voltage spike. Channeling this energy correctly will create a new connection between the past and the future. A golden cube. He said, it is almost time when I clicked on him. And now there are, um, you remember when you had the six switches? Yes. I have six, I have six new things to do with switches. Interesting. Okay. Um, let me press enter really quick. Oh! Okay, so I pressed enter to see what was going on, and it says adjust smoke gas discharge, flip the six switches to the correct position, break visual contact. What? Oh, maybe if you do that, I won't be able to see him anymore. Um, maybe. All right, so I have the switches. What were the switches again? Okay, the, the switches, top row is up, up, down. Okay. Bottom row is up, up, down. All right, I have another fuse. Um, okay. Any other information for me? Um, Adjust the gas discharge. Okay, I can do that real quick. Um, what's the... It's again, it's the three row thing with the five marks. Yes. Um, but the I'm worried. I'm worried that if you do that, I won't be able to see him anymore. Well, that was the third thing. Let's. This is the first thing. So let's just go in order. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay, so we need to do the smokestack thing? Yeah. Okay, so top row is the very last dash. Okay. Second row is the second dash. Okay. Third row is the fourth dash. Okay. Got another fuse, great. 
Okay. And then the last thing is break visual contact. Is that this? Um, yes. So there's a new pattern for the eyeball thing, the 12 section eyeball. All right. Let me know when you're ready. I am good to go. Okay. Um, bottom center is the stick with the ball on the end. Got it. Um, left center is the arrow. Left center. Okay. Oh, and shit. Right. Uh, I am I am already in the past. Oh, okay. Well, hello. <laughs> so I... Yes. Okay. So uh, how do I... How do I... Okay. So I saw you in the past with the mask on. Um, and then behind you was our good shadow friend. And then I clicked the screen yeah. and then he attacked the screen and uh, broke my vision to the past. And now I have... Uh, I have three things that I can put in here. So I've I put them in here. And a back panel opened. Power surge handle unlocked. Pool to finish the program. All right. Are you good? Are you ready? I think so. He's just gooping around this room at this point. So people be gooping. I get it. Okay. Here we go. This should be this should be totally fun and, and not at all awful. That'd and. 21.10 is the, what the time says. Okay. Um, um, 9.10. Okay. The lights are back on. Did the person in the past set oh. the time to 21.10? Yes. And now there's electricity everywhere. All right. Did the person in the past create the golden cube and place it in the cubicle device? No. Oh my god. The shadow <laughs> the shadow man is just holding his hands up with electricity coming into it. I'm so unnerved. Um Uh No, create the golden cube. How? I don't know. It said to the person in the past at the time to 2110. Yes. Did the person in the past create the golden cube and place it in the cubicle device? That's all it's asking me, and I can't back out of this screen. We have to use this energy from 1984, he said. Yeah, so I'm sending you energy a into new the past. connection to the future. Okay, you're sending this energy. Yes. With the, th with the thing that you did. Um, can I rotate these people? Oh. No. Does it not want me doing this? Create the golden cube. So there's a shattered vase that I've that I'm messing with, but I don't think it's it doesn't seem to be like puzzle pieces. It doesn't seem to want to go together. Okay, so I don't think it's that. Rose, wear the mask. I am a father. Um, I'm not sure what let it me is. Like, let me do no, no. Did the person in the past set the? So I am. I'm stuck on the screen. Okay. Read it to me again. It just says that the person in the past create the golden cube and place it in the cubicle device. Create the golden cube. Maybe I meant to put the pieces of... No, because I can't pick up the pieces of the vase. It's like maybe I'm supposed to melt them down, but... A golden... Oh. Oh. I just needed to click on him one more time. A golden cube. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh-oh. Yep, the golden cube is in the device. Okay. Let's select yes. Both of you press and hold the up arrow button for 10 seconds. Okay. Ready, steady, go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Oh, okay. I'm entering the matrix. It looks like the matrix. What the shit? Uh. 
Okay, chapter two, the future is what it says. Yeah, mine says the past chapter two. All right, it looks like I've now switched with you because I am, instead of being in a 3D world, I'm in old Rusty Lake world. Oh my God, I'm in a 3D world. Oh fuck, is this what you've been seeing? Yeah. <laughs> Holy Welcome shit. Welcome to my world. Oh my God, right. Oh, I see what you mean now. Yes, and you can see the room in the background. Mm-hmm. Oh, how weird, how fucking trippy, okay. Holy shit. Okay, well, on my screen, I don't have... Was that fucking you? Was Did you do that? Me? Did you press a button? Um, I I toggled the, the thingy where the ear is. And it, it made a little rope go down. Okay, so whatever you just did, on my screen, it's the normal Rusty Lake screen. You know, the one we're used to, right? Uh, yeah. I cannot turn left or right. I can only look forward. And in front of me is the box still, but the top of the mm -hmm. box just opened like a fucking transformer. And out oh. of it is a floating, I'm going to assume cube, but it looks like a floating square. And in it is you in the past, it appears. And frankly, I, the I, golden I cube? don't like it. That's the golden cube. Um, it's pitch black in my screen. It's not golden at, at all. Um, and then okay. I have two pieces of if paper. I do, if I do that, does it open? What? Uh, nothing is opened. It's kind of just floating there at the moment. I don't want to click oh, on weird. it yet. Okay. But I might not have done anything then. I have a, I have a two pieces of paper that say resurrection process. Connect with my past self. Execute extraction program, and there are like check marks next to these, right? So like check mark, execute power surge, check mark, press and hold for 10 seconds, right? There's three at the bottom that are not checked yet. Power resurrection tank, transport bone, flesh, and blood to resurrection tank, complete resurrection process. And then it says, communicate the following code to the past uh, to use okay. on the cubicle device. Okay. Z1, X... Two three Z, Y one X two three Y okay all right person in the future places black cube at C nine all right I guess I'm taking the black cube black cube is taken okay oh and I can back away now I'm gonna really quickly can I all right nope all right now I can back away and I am in a animated version of the 3D room that I was looking at. Right, yes. Okay, okay. Um, and I need to put the cubicle where exactly? So it places black cube in C9. Black cube in C9. Okay, I see C9. Black cube in C9. Okay, and then do you see um, the, the box with the nine buttons? I do. Um, the whole left row and the whole right row are lit up. Person in the future turns switch and communicates pointers, red, white, black. Okay, so on my turns screen, I just saw uh, inside the cube, I saw all of the standard tropes of this franchise. I saw a, literally an entire multi-series worth of game lore flash before my eyes. Um, everything from like Rose to creepy Shadow Man to like weird, uh, we wear antlers, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, totally. Um, the whole nine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have a screen. Uh, one half of the screen is, uh, it appears to be a man waiting for resurrection. And the other half of the screen is a clock with a knob. And then underneath mm -hmm. it, Switches that say bone, flesh, blood. Okay. So um, I have... It says person in the future turns switch and communicates pointers red, white, black. On There's it. a lens. There's a lens with a red, white, and and black um, notches that are on a circle. Gotcha. Like around the lens. On it. So I'm going to do this like a clock, if you will. Okay, yep. Black is at 11 o'clock. Oh, oh, interesting. I have to. Okay, okay. Black is at eleven. Red is at one. Okay. White is at three. Oh my god! I'm inside the lens. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, you get to see okay. what I saw. 
Okay. Um, uh, the Shadow Man is in goop, floating, waiting yep. for resurrection, I assume. I, I see, see I see myself. I'm old. I'm over this shit. Oh, am I old? You? You, if you? Yeah, we're the same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've zoomed out, and I've gotten a music key. I turn. There's a slot for it. I put it in the slot. I turn it. A box opens. There's um, piano keys and a number. Do you see somewhere to do something with piano keys? Piano keys and a number. Um, Let me see. How many keys are there? Just like a whole piano's worth? Um, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. How is it so, displayed? A whole... It's displayed like a like a mini piano. <laughs> like a mini piano. So there's seven keys. I am an old I am an old lady. I'm looking in the mirror right now. I have grown old, it says. Um the number that's on um the the little plaque behind the piano keys says seventy eight point three. Seventy eight point three. Alright, so I have like a thing down at the bottom. Ooh, I don't know what that means. Alright, that doesn't do anything. I have hmm, nothing there, nothing there. Maybe it's on the desk. Heat missing. Okay, that's not what I need. I found a scalpel. Nothing. Son of a biscuit. All right, so I have two locked doors and a radio. What did the radio say? Or I'm sorry, what is the what was the Tune to what oh, now? Oh, 78.3. Okay. A-G-A-B is what it says. A-G-A-B. Okay. Next one is 114.3. E-D-E-C. E-D-E-C? Yes. didn't do anything. E D E C is what it says. Yeah, that's what I did. It didn't do anything. 100 Oh, that's cuz that was uh, the wrong one. I'm sorry. You said 114. Yeah, 114. -E sorry. That's okay. I went to 104. Okay, ready? Yeah. 103.7. That is going to be this one. E D E C. Yep. 89.1. Ooh, that's the NPR station. Oh, sorry. <laughs> B-A-G-A. -A. Baga. Baga. I got a key. The tooth key. I don't like that. Oh my God. I see the shadow man crawling around on the walls. Get a job. <laughs> Damn shadow man. Okay. Okay. All right. I've locked up the tooth. And now, um, let's see. Interesting. How do I describe this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six rows of three boxes that I'm looking at. Six rows, three boxes. I'm going to make the assumption this is it. Okay. Talk to me. Okay, so one box is lit up in each row, okay? okay? Top row, it is the rightmost box. On it. Uh, second row is the left box. Got it. Third row is the center box. Got it. Fourth row is the center box. Got it. Fifth row is the left box. Oop, on it. Sixth row is the right box. Yo, you sent me a tooth. Oh hell yeah! Wait, hold on. There's a giant. That's a giant ass tooth. This is a. This is a comically large tooth. Am I cutting it open? Big... With a Can you cut open a, a tooth with a scalpel? I don't know. This tooth is so big. I guess not. Okay. Well, I have a giant, literal giant tooth. Nice. And, okay, and I got uh, some chalk as well. Chalk, okay. 
Um, I'm not sure what to do next, so it might be up to you. Okay. Uh, can I? Hmm. There's nothing on the computer anymore. We have to power the resurrection tank. God damn it. Okay, well, behind me, I look to the mirror. Behind me is a person dressed as a pigeon. Okay, yep. Sounds right. And I'm going to kill them. Nope, I'm going to chalk them. Nope. I'm gonna turn around and... Okay, well... A parrot is what it was. Oh. Now it's gone. Okay, well, that's cool. Okay, no. That didn't do anything. The tooth is now lit up on the box, and I was like, ooh, but it doesn't do anything. All right. The only thing that I can do is, um, you know, on the box where the ear is, mm -hmm. um, I can make the rope get closer or further away from the ear. <laughs> That's the only thing I can do right now. Interesting. Um, I have a whole, I have a Bunsen burner and it says coffee missing and I have a cup of water now and then a weird potion thing. Okay. Um, the tooth has, has given me absolutely, the tooth is huge, like comically large. Oh, I have a chalk on chalkboard. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I have some stuff for you. Okay. Hit me. Boy, oh boy. All right. I have on my chalkboard a series of images, everything ranging mm. from an alien face to blood to meat to shadow man to everything here, and then the numbers letter combination of, uh, and that's probably the three, you know, the the one two three X Y Z. Yep, I'm ready. X three Z one X Y two. Z one Y two. Okay, we're in business, baby. Ready? Yes. Um, this is a letter, and there are keywords underlined. So I'm going to read the whole thing, and then I'm going to tell you which words are underlined, okay? Okay, yeah, yeah. When I lay in my coffin and my eyes become white, my soul will turn black. Use the cube to connect to the future. Bring me bone, flesh, and blood. So the, the words that are underlined are coffin, Yep. eyes. Oh, hold on. Coffin. Eyes, eyes yep. soul. Okay. Cube. Yep. Future. Future. Okay. Bone. Bone. Flesh. Uh, what is flesh? Maybe, maybe this. Are they images? Yes, they're images. Gotcha. And blood. And blood. That's the last one. And then a hammer started moving, and I got a hammer. A hammer came out of it, and I'm thinking that hammer's going to crack the open the tooth. Yes. Hell yeah. What's in that it tooth, did. baby? And the tooth shattered into a billion pieces. <laughs> okay. And I don't see anything in it. Okay. I just shattered a tooth, and the hammer is gone now. Okay. Can you pick up bits of the tooth? Uh, I very much just tried, and there's nothing to pick up Ooh, as far as I, I can. There's a butterfly flying around now. Yeah, I don't, the tooth gives me nothing. Mir, what do you have? Nothing. Oh! I thought this was a, I thought, okay, so there is like a vacuum here. I thought this had to do with the, like this was a tube. But this is an actual like suck it up vacuum cleaner. All right, the tooth has been sucked up and is going into the machine with the man. Okay. And it's the, on my end, the bone is done. And we have now used a tooth to create bones for a man. There is a skeleton in this thing now. And I'm pressing it again. And now I have new red, black, white coordinates for you. Will you do me a huge favor really quick? Of course. Um, The <gasps> wall that has friend. the furnace. Sorry, did you hear that? Um, yes, the wall has furnace. I'm sorry. Um... The little cute rat 
you, you'll have to forgive me one second. The little cute rat is running around my screen, and I clicked him, and he um, took me to a key. Oh. And now he's sort of like chillaxing and running around, and I can't tell if this is leading me somewhere or if he's just hanging out with me now. It's a mouse? All right, it's a mouse. Okay, okay. But uh, I now... Oh, what the shit? Okay. Dukes... So yeah. much just happened. So I have a key now, but more importantly, mm -hmm. my cube is flashing the number three at me. Okay. What? Uh, what? I just heard something happen in here. My cube exploded. I <laughs> uh, did a countdown and it now my cube is gone, but I have dark powder. Okay. I have a dark powder and a key. All right, I'm sorry. What did you need me to do? I got so just so much just That's happened okay. there. That's okay. No. All right. Um, so there was a butterfly that was flying around and landing on different areas of the cube. So I kept clicking it, um, and then it eventually flew away, and I think landed next to where the furnace is in the room you're in. I was just wondering if you could check and see if there's a butterfly there. There's no butterfly there, but this mouse. I just got an achievement called No Way Out for clicking him a bunch of times. <laughs> so I guess he's trapped in here with me and we're just like mouse buddies? We're just bros, yeah. All That's right. Um, okay. So, so, so I'm going to really doing? quickly Chant? try to use my key to open these lockers. Yes, do it. All right, so... That key worked. I don't know if that was the right locker to open. But inside we have... Oh. Well, all right. I have some diagrams okay. for you. Okay. And this is the 1926 cubicle device. Okay. And in it, it has hidden compartments. Yes. I know exactly where they are, I think, because I've been clicking on them a bunch. Yeah, so on side A, which should have three little one thing on the, like one big hunkin' panel on the right and two smaller panels on the left, Um, there are two on that side. Sorry, say that again? So it says side A. I'm not sure what that looks like on your side, but imagine sure. if you like... To split it down the middle On one mm -hmm. side is a big um, Rectangular uh, Contraption of some sort I don't know what it's actually supposed to be um, And then on the other side Is two yes. smaller ones And one looks like it has a key maybe But that yeah. side there's two hidden compartments Yes I see them Alright so have you unlocked those hidden compartments I don't know how to get them open I can just see them Alright so you have yeah hidden compartment One is on the left side, right in the middle, and hidden compartment two yep. is on the right top. Yep, I see them. I've been clicking on them while you were doing other stuff, but I, I gotcha. literally can't open them. And then hidden compartment on side B, it's the side that has sort of cogs on it, on the bottom part. Um, that has hidden compartment three as well. Um, yeah. All right, I'm going to see if we can get you in there. I also have a... What? What? <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, I just made I just made coffee from the dust of a computer. Okay. I mean, that's a thing that happens, you know, like usual. Right. And then I have a computer screen in a closet and it ha all the computer only has up down left right arrows and that's it. Okay. Can you click them? Oh, press down when the person in the past found missing gears in the hidden compartments. But I can't get the compartments open. I do click and I click and I click. Is there something you can do to... Hidden compartment and then there's little cogs next to it. So I'll tell you what happens when I click on them. Um, so I can see them very clearly when mm. I 
when I click on say like the the side A, if you right. will, with the three boxes, if I click on the one that's on the top of side A, it just it zooms me in so that I see it really closely, but I can't like see above or below or anything. I'm just I'm just dead on. And if I click on it, I try clicking on the edges, on the corners, um, nothing happens okay. to it. Then maybe we don't it's, do that yet. Yeah, that might be. Uh, if there's something else we can try to do. Sure. Uh, I, I have a thing that says that missing yet. coffee. So I'm going to take the coffee and I'm going to put it here. All right, water missing. Water's there. Flesh missing. Oh, I need the flesh. Okay. Can you send me the flesh? Uh... Um, I can, so, uh, I put the rope down as far as it can go, but I can't grab the ear. Hmm. The ear's just sitting there. All right. Well, maybe the, uh, we have to do the things in order, the, the secret compartments in order, because each one okay. has a number here. Okay. So we've, we've done the, we've done the tooth. So the other two are the, the blood and the flesh. Yeah. You also have the red, white, and black arrows. We have that shit back there. Like we don't necessarily need to do this right away. Oh, I mean, I still have... I can still see the lens with the red, white, and black stuff. Okay, well then let's go there for a minute. So let's try that then, yeah. right? All right, so you have uh, red, white, and black. I'm going to start mm -hmm. with... Uh, we'll start top and sort of work our way around. At one o'clock is white. Okay, got it. At four o'clock is black. Okay. And at six o'clock is red. Okay, I'm inside the lens again. I see the boy. He's got bones now. Yep. He's a happy boy with bones. And the compartment has opened anew. We have a nut driver. Fantastic. I go here. I open this shit, I think. Oh my god. There we go. Oh no, please don't make me do that to each one. Oh, it's going to. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm taking off a little vent that was on the side. Um, and now I see places for cogs. So okay. let's see if we can get these little bitches open now. Oh, yep, okay. One compartment open. Two compartment open. Fantastic, they were just gatekeeping. Um, and then the third compartment is on the, the yep. side B. Don't even worry about it. I got nice. them all. Okay. I'm making the machine run. The dolly is here. It's not disconcerting. I'm sure it's fine. I knocked him over. I take the hook, and I think I'll be able to sh send you the ear now. Nice. I put the hook on that, and then are you ready? I'm ready. I send you the flesh. All right. I think yummy, I need that yummy. piano thing again to open this. You need the piano again? Or whatever you were saying, that, that, that six, the six lines in order to... Or is like right, left, middle? Oh, um, yes. So a new thing has popped up that I think is similar, but okay. Um, I I have three dots. There's uh one, two, three, four, five rows, and then um. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to describe this. Um, like on a mixer when you're when you're um, making the volume go up. Yeah. It's like that. Like it, it pushes up or down. Oh, interesting. So okay. I, I can push each of these three um, pegs like down or up. 
Okay, tell me about where you're pushing. Am I telling you where to push? I think you tell me where to put them if you see something that matches up with that, with like with like three vertical sliders and five notches or five like lines to line them up with. So each, okay, each okay. slider so I think can this only is where be I on one line. Computer. Press down when the person in the past has found the missing gears in the compartments. You did that, yes? Yes, done, yep. Okay. Oh, Lord. All right, so we have, on my screen right now, I have um, three symbols. One mm -hmm. is sort of an upside down hook, mm -hmm. uh, kind of like a J. One, maybe let's pretend is an ear. Uh, and the other is what appears to be, if you again, like you mentioned, if you're doing sound like design, it has little notches. And there are three okay. rows or three columns. And yep. um, the first one is all the way down to the bottom. This is going uh, okay. left to right. Left to right. First one okay. all the way down at the bottom. Second yep, one fine. is in the second position from the top. Okay. Yep. And the third one is in the second position from the top. Okay. A thing opened that has arrows, like for a combination. Great, I have four arrows. Uh, right, left, okay. yep. left, yep. up, yep. right, okay. down. All right, we got some sort of you did it right combination. And okay. then I now have another six digit XYZ123 code for you. Fantastic. What is it? It is Y3X1Z2, or Z. Okie dokie, new message. Um, it looks like a maze. Okay, talk to me. I have a that hook J, and on I have a grid, and my starting position is at the very, very top, uh, one from the left is where I'm starting. Okay. I think I'm pro I, I assume so there's three numbers and they are on the grid, but mm -hmm. like there are walls along the grid like a maze. So I assume I'm supposed to take you to each letter I or each number, I mean, I guess. Yeah, and I have three boxes that probably are those numbers that will be filled as I hit them. So I probably need okay. to hit all three. Yeah. Okay. So you are one over from the top left, yeah? Correct. Okay. Down. Okay. Right, yep. right, right. Yep. Down, 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 down. Mm hmm. Left. Okay. Up, up. All right. Left, left. Done. Down, down. Done. Left. Okay. Up, up. I got one. Great. So I'm going to take you to two now. Ready? Okay. Down, down. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Up, up. Okay. Right, right. Okay. Down, down, down. Yep. Right, right, right. Got it. Okay. Ready for the last one? Yes. Left, left, left. Okay. Up. Right. Right. Okay. Up, 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 up. All right. Right, right. Yep. Down, 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 down. Okay. Left. Done. Up, up, up. Got it. Hell yeah. What? Tedious who? The f what? Okay, so I'm seeing a screen that is my room where I see mm -hmm. the, the, the mirror and the faucet of, of one side of my room and then literally some sort of thing f came down from the ceiling and I guess that's supposed to be behind me now. So that's, this should be fun. Yep, a giant ass ear was lowered by a crane. Yeah, this is fine. And I ripped a piece of flesh off with with my scalpel 
And now I'm going to okay. take the flesh to here. Step one. Okay. I need you to guide me through this process. Uh, that means you have to go back to the XYZ123 thing. Okie dokie. All right. So, step one 3X2Z1Y. Got it. Okay. New message. Add liquids in the following order. Okay. Acid. Water. Done. Yep. Coffee. Just like uh, every good morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Then, Acid, water, coffee didn't do it? Yeah, there's three more. Oh, okay. Hot acid. <laughs> Hot okay. water. Hot coffee. Hot coffee. Yep. All right. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I'm understanding now. I'm understanding now. Okay. This was a key. Okay. Ready? I'm giving you the real thing now. <laughs> it gave me a key at the bottom. Gotcha. Okay. So, acid, water, hot coffee. Got it. Step two. All right. One, Y, three, X, two, Z. Okay. Step two. Is the flesh triangular, rectangular, or oval? Rectangular. Okay. It is... Oh my god, I needed to have memorized the key. This is fucked up. It's water, coffee, hot water. All right, step three. <clears throat> 2Z1, X3, Y. Got it. Is there hair, pimples, or is it smooth? Pimples. Hot Unsettling, acid. Awful pimples. In case people okay. can't see, there you go. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Okay. All right. Hot acid, water, hot acid. Hot acid, then dilute, and then hot acid. All right. Well, this is awful. <clears throat> Just to show people what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at now. Okay. Uh, step four. One, Y, two, X, three, Z. Okay. Eyes, mouth, or ear? Uh, that is a mouth. Acid, water, water. Acid, water, water. Great, completed. It's jiggling, and it's <laughs> moving off the table, and it's growing, and now it's moving to the other room, and now it's gonna get sucked up. Okay, it's going in a tube. It just crawled in a tube. That shit is- Oh no, oh no, I see it. I see it crawling up the wall. Ugh, bro. Good news is, this man has flesh now. I guess that's good news. Naked as shit, but he has flesh. Okay, let's do this thing. I am turning the clock again. And I have okay. new red, black, white codes for you. Great, I'm ready. All right. White is at midnight. Okay. Red is at 10 p.m. Okay. And black is at 7 p.m. Or seven, I guess. I'm it zooming uh -oh. in. Give him his fleshy bits. Do it. What the shit? Slurp, 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 slurp. Hey, remember when mm, you said there was good. a butterfly flying around? Yep. Um, the butterfly just appeared in an event. The rat led me to the or mouse led me to the butterfly in an event. The butterfly is now in the room with me. Do you want to hear something fun? Yeah. So, <laughs> so um, while you were doing stuff, the butterfly kept like showing up occasionally, and I clicked on it long enough that it went in one of the cog compartments, and I closed it, and we got an achievement for closing it up into the box. Amazing. So I guess I sent it to the past <laughs> you, you definitely sent it to me. The butterfly just murdered the mouse. I mean, he okay. ate, he like murdered the mouse. But the good oh. news is the mouse had a key inside his body. So that's, you know, that's pretty good. That's great. 
Yeah, and um, now so... I can open this other. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. So what I did is um, the the code that you gave me for the lens gave me a little wheel. I used the wheel to put a tube into the blood. The blood was sucked up into the cube. And now there's a thing for me to turn on. So I will turn that on. It's slowly opening. And now, interesting. I have a little, I have a little, wow, there's a lot going on here. Okay, so on, on the right is a tube filled with the blood. There are eight symbols on the bottom, which I assume are what you saw when we were doing the pictures at the very start. So it's like bird, butterfly, um, antlers, human, house, yes. eyeball, yeah, yeah, yeah. heart. There's a, a switch. There's what looks kind of like um, the machines that do receipts at a cash register. So there's like blank paper there. And then there's a thermometer. Oh and boy. a light. Okay. So... I opened the lo the last locker. It's the really I think it's the last thing in this entire damn place that I can mess with. And in it is uh, a certain someone's brown suit, jacket, and pants. Yep. Okay. And then a wheel that I just got, a valve, and then a box labeled labeled A Vanderboom. Uh, okay. It's locked. Um, I can't click. I can't click on the. Maybe I can keep clicking on the vest. Uh, the Yeah, so the wardrobe isn't doing anything for me, but I have a valve now, and I think, in theory, I know where to put it, which is here. And I turn this enough that now I have a whole new thing opened, and on it is a series of uh, and various things. So, to describe it for you, I have a light bulb up above, Mm -hmm. A switch that says on off A little valve of some sort And a pressure indicator I guess that's what that's supposed to be And then I have a pipe next to me That probably is going to fill with stuff And then underneath is a little tiny screen And a series of the infamous uh, Rusty Lake symbols Right, So we have like Fantastic yeah so we basically have the same thing But with but just slightly different Now did you just do something Nope Interesting I think I just I think I just saw something happen, but uh, maybe I'm just losing my mind. All right. Anyway, uh, let's do this thing. Okay. So, do all are all of your symbols the same? No, like I have none, none of them are. I mean, like none of them are lit up. Oh yes, none of them are lit up. Okay, I'm going to this. I have a little switch. You said yours says on and off. I can switch mine on, which I just did. I'm going to try switching mine on. Okay, mine is on. Oh, there's um, a timer? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Then we should switch uh, on at the same time. Okay. Oh. Okay. So when I switched mine on, do you remember how I was saying there was like uh, what looked like um, uh, like a receipt thing? Yeah. So that rotated and had an image on it. Oh boy. So I'm assuming okay. we probably need to, like, as fast as possible to communicate to one another what symbols we're looking at and then okay. click them, maybe? All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Just give me the three, two, one, and we'll turn on at the same time. All right. Three, two, one, go. Okay. An S. Got it. That's it. Do you see something? Uh, I see a butterfly symbol. Okay. I clicked it. Okay. Okay. And then I push the valve down. Okay. An upside down cross. Got it. Eye. What do you see? Eyeball. Okay. And push the valve down. Okay. Um, a square with a T in it. Got it. All right. It is a uh, deer man. Okay. With antlers. Push it down. A square with a line through the middle, cutting it in half. Gotcha. I see a human being, like just a gingerbread man looking dude. Yep. Got it. Valve down. Um, a line with a small circle above the right side of it. Got it. A raven. A crow. Got it. Valve down. A T. All right. Got it. A heart. Got it. Valve down. Um, a circle with a plus in it. All right. A tree. Got it. Valve. Uh, a line, a, a uh, vertical line this time with a circle at the a bottom. A house. 
Got it. Sent you all the blood. You definitely did. Blood is leaking from the ceiling now, question mark. But I have a big vial of blood. I pressed it, and now it is sending the blood over to our man. Fantastic. I'm proud and of him. And I think, in theory, that is all there is to do in this. Can I do anything else just to be sure? Here we go. I've, I mean, I've brought a man back. That is for sure. Okay, I'm gonna press this button. And now the clock has turned again. Uh, white, red, and black. I have new, okay. new things for you. Okay. Yep, I'm going to it. Hit me. Uh, black is at nine. Okay. Red is at three. And white is at five. All right. Give this man his blood. Yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum. Okay. And now my cube is blinking again. I'm gonna do real quick, okay. once over. I have chalk. I have matches still. Is there anything else to I mess have a with hex here? Key. I have a thing to open. So let me open this. Uh, I have a new code for the, um, the box with nine little thingies on it. Nice. That's what we need. Okay. Hit me. Uh, okay. Top row is nothing. Middle row, the left one is clicked. Hold Bottom on. Bottom row. Hold on. That, I may have to. Okay. Top row is nothing. Left one is clicked. Okay. On center row, left one is clicked. Bottom row, center and right are clicked. So what is the middle one again? Oh, oh, weird. Wait a second. Okay, so there's... Oh, I see him crawling around again. Homie... The, the cube is glowing right now, so something's happening for sure. So, um, okay, so I see uh, a little telescope popped out of the cube. And on the side, uh, it shows it shows like a, like keys for the the nine buttons. Okay. Um, but I can rotate that thing and it shows me different areas of the house. So the f the first one is um, the chessboard. The second one is the candelabra. The third one is the vase on the ground. And the fourth one is the clock. Interesting. Okay. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what. I mean, right now I have. Everything in this room appears to be done. Maybe it has to do with which one is true. Um, what, uh, which candles are lit on the candelabra? I have no candelabra. There is no candelabra. No, not here. Next at to least. the coffin. I have no. I am in my room in the future. I have none of that. Oh. I have the only things available left to mess with on my screen are, uh. The Vanderboom box that's locked, the suit, and uh, the man in the goo, and next to him is a cube that is powered up right now. It's, it's glowing, and then the okay. the nine keypad, which I think you were telling me about, but I don't know. Like I maybe I did that wrong. Nothing happened. Um. Okay. So. So uh, originally. I was like, oh, well, maybe, you know, because the clock shows a specific time. The candelabra shows a specific number of candles lit. Sure. The chessboard shows the pieces in specific places. Well, right, so I was so, like, oh, maybe I need to figure out which one is true, but. All good. I may have to click this cube. I'm just concerned because you said there was uh, a keypad with it was like top row, middle row, bottom row. And I just want to make sure 
I put that correct because I'm concerned that if I click the cube, it's going to do that normal thing where it like moves us on. And I'm wondering if there's like a hidden bit. You know how that shit is. This, like is, what I, this is what I'm saying, though. There are four codes for the for the nine button thing. Uh, give me, give me, let's, let's see them. Just rattle them off to me. Okay. For the clock, it's top row, center left, middle row, nothing, bottom row, center. All right. So center left, uh, I mean, this one, there's only nine buttons, so this can't be right. There's only center. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's nine buttons. What? Okay. Okay. Top row, okay. top row is let's what again? Over. Yeah. Top row is left and center. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Middle row, nothing. Okay. Bottom row, center. All right. So my assumption is I need to click the cube to see an image. I'll see an image and then you tell me what it's supposed to be. That makes sense to me. All right. Okay. Let's okay. try that. Okay. Well, I see a candle. Um, it's okay. just one lone candle and a creepy man just walked by. So here we are. Fantastic. Okay. So the candelabra one is ready. Yeah. Top row center. Okay. Middle row right. Mm-hmm. Bottom row center. All right. A black chess piece just overtook a white chess piece. Fantastic. So we move on to the chess board. Uh, okay. Ready? Yes. Top row, nothing. Okay. Um, center row, left. Okay. Bottom row, center, and right. All right. Now I'm looking at a clock spinning wildly. Top row, center, and left. Okay. Middle row, nothing. Okay. Bottom row, center. All right, and now I have a rose. Top row, left and center. Okay. Middle row, nothing. Mm -hmm. Bottom row, left and right. All right, my man is losing his mind in this tube. He's going loopy, he's freaking out. Fantastic. Electricity surging through the water. We love it, we love it, we love it. Yep, there he is. He's crawling around. He's being a goopy boy. This man popped out of this vat like the fucking Terminator. He is naked on the ground. Okay. A realistic eye is watching me. Fantastic. Okay. A red light is going off. And my man is on the ground and now he is crawling. Yep, okay. Well, there he goes. And he's back in his suit. Okay. He crawled it's into his you, suit. My daughter. Well done. It seems much time has passed. He's just been reborn. I'm proud of him. He said, it's you, my daughter. It seems much time has passed. You have brought me back to life. You have brought me back to life. We are not finished but we yet. We are not finished yet. Thanks for continuing to have a creepy voice. We are all trapped. We are all trapped in the cubes, in the cubes we have, we have created. created. We have to find a way out. We have to find a way out. Look into my pocket. Look into my pocket, and I will... Hold Look on. Look into my pocket. Look into my pocket. Okay. I have one more uh, XYZ123 code for you. Fantastic. I'm ready. 3XY21Z. It says... It is another letter with words underlined. Okay. So I'll read the first. I will read the full letter and then tell you which ones are underlined. Excellent. When I open my eyes in the future, I will wear a mask and I will show you the gems. Only then we can escape the cube we are trapped in. All right, talk to me. Keywords: eyes. Yep. Future. Yep. Mask. Got it. Gems. Got them. Cube. And a key. Okay. Fantastic. I'm going to assume that gets me into his chest. And inside. Ah, <laughs> well, well, well. Just some fun little trinkets of the past. I have one half mask, one full mask, and one uh, dead deer mask. Sort of like a. Great. 
you know, from the island when they all would dress, you know, in the old days when they'd all dress up like crazy people. Oh, oh, oh shit. A bunch of stuff's happening here. Uh, okay. So do you remember when I said that the butterfly flew into a compartment and I trapped it in the cube? <laughs> yeah. So a new compartment opened and the butterfly came back out of the cube and then um, fused with part of the cube that had a butterfly symbol. And now three compartments have opened, one representing blood, flesh, and bone. And each of them are, there are three white figurines. Mm -hmm. um, each one has a slot for a gem. Okay. I'm gonna talk like to in its chest. I'm gonna talk to this man and see if he give says anything. Yeah, talk to this man. He says, "Give me a mask." Um, I have three masks. I'm not sure which one to give him. Ooh. Maybe I give masks. him just any of them, and we see what happens. Sure. All right, I'm gonna give him this mask. Um, that's awful. <laughs> okay. So I gave him the deer mask. Okay. And now on the chalkboard I have, remember we were talking about the sound design things before? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I have three of those and I can give them in order from left to right to you if you would like. Um, so things for the piano? Um, or no, these are sort of like the sound design, like you're raising the volume on shit. Or like increasing <gasps> the gain. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. All right. What is it? Um, left to right, mm -hmm. furthest bottom. Yep. Middle is one up, and then right is all the way up. Oh, <gasps> a gem. There we go. That's one. The red gem. Okay, and that one, that's. Did you specifically get that? From him having that mask on? Yes. Yeah, it was okay, the deer so mask and there was the, blood everywhere. I'll, yeah. Okay, I'll put that gem in the deer mask. Okay. Ew, it made a squishy noise. That's fine. Okay, next. All right, I'm going to do the half mask. Okay. This one's playing an old time ditty, an old, an old. Ew, he's back there looking at me. Okay. So I have, this is the piano one. Okay. F, G, D, C. F, G, D, C. A new gem. That's the half mask? Yep. The best part about this okay. is the music, everything in this room is swaying. Like He's the, closer. He's getting closer each time I put in a gem. <laughs> Yummy. Okay. Okay. And now I'm putting one on... Left. Let's go. The last mask. This is the full face mask. Yes. And everything became the same kind of foggy it usually is in this game. Mm -hmm. And with the fog comes a clock puzzle. Okay. All right. A new time for you. This is... Yes. White at 11 o'clock. White Red. at 11 red at five black at two okay I see old Rose with Arthur behind her wearing the white mask the snow mask great should I pull the mask off yep okay something shattered I now have a needle but not a gem that's fine no but the the little doll is still here so I think I need to use it on the doll gotcha and I got the last gem this should be fine right this should be this should it's be okay it's gonna be fine yeah. everything's totally fine just hanging out in the future with my resurrected father it's, it's cool yep okay all three gems are in alright I'm gonna the... talk to him cube is whirring the fuck up the gold cube has shown up he is grabbing the gold cube great lovely 
I am going to attempt to... Oh, no. I got... I don't know what to do right now. Okay. No, I'll... He said, the future is the past, and the past is the future. I will give you the code. Ready? It's okay. another... It's an, It's the nine buttons again. Ready? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Top row, left, and right. Okay. Middle row, all three. Okay. Oh. Uh, it. it was a very loud noise. Anything else in this room before I grab this thing? There is a way out, he says. To the lake where we belong. Yeah, why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta be like that, old timer? No, I don't like it. Give me the black cube in the future, he says. This is some baby back bullshit. This is how we die. The, now, this thing always said C9, right? C9, yeah. Give me the cube. He said, like where you put the, the black cube. cube originally? Oh, boy. Give me the he cube. Said, Give me the cube. Okay, here we go. The past in the future. The future in the past. He says the past and the future, the future in the past. Mm-hmm. A cube. A cube inside, inside a, cube. a cube. There is a way out. There is a way out. Yep, that's what to he the just lake said to me too. Where we both belong, to the my lake daughter. Where we both belong, my daughter. This mm -hmm. is lovely. This is great. If the yep. three gems are found and the golden cube is revealed in the past. If the three gems are found and the golden cube is revealed in the past. Look closely. Into the cube I hold. Look closely into the cube I hold. So if you have all that done, I guess, in theory, I'm looking closely. Oh, Lord. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm just staring Both at the cube. So. Press and hold the middle of the cube for 10 seconds at the you same time. Else. All right. Both of you press and hold the middle of the cube for 10 seconds at the same time. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, click. Ooh, we're zooming. I see Arthur holding the black cube. I see the shadow man holding the gold cube. And now, yep, I, yep, we're on going and on in, forever, in, yep, infinity. Yep. yep. It's like when you make a portal, you keep falling through the same portal over and over and over <laughs> again. It just gets faster and faster. Oh. Now I'm on the title screen. Like, ha you have reached the end. Has the other person also reached the end? Yes. Yes. Can I click this the butterfly? The loop is broken and the gap is closed. All right, next. Time doesn't Time's, exist in the lake. Yeah. Future and the, the past. The future blend and the past blend together. You and the other you person, and the are, other the person are the same. You both belong to the lake now. Where, where your, your soul, soul will blossom. blossom. You're about to high five each other. Oh, yeah, nope, we, we just became a tree. a tree. We just became a tree. How about a beautiful flower? It's a that's nice. tree, though. Yeah, that's nice. We're a very beautiful tree. Beautiful we tree. belong to the lake. Come on, butterfly. I'm going to get you. All right, so the butterfly went into the tree. Oh, my God. I must, I must know. All right, I'm going to But hold. we play... It's... Uh, Okay, sorry. We only yes. played one thing. We played butterfly. We only played right? one mode. Yeah, it said there's another mode. Hmm. I have so many questions. What is the? Do other you want to try to do the other mode? I mean, we can. What is the other? I'm trying to wait to see what happens at the end. <gasps> so I... Oh. Devs are in chat right now. Thank you so much for playing. It was so fun to watch for us. You're an amazing team. Yeah. <laughs> uh, revisit the cubes by choosing a pass next time. And be sure to choose B mode for new solutions to all the puzzles. Right. Let me click achievements really quick. 
Oh, Lord. I missed three achievements. I can't believe this. I missed three future achievements. Here's the thing. There are oh. several past achievements as well. And there's... What does that say? Checkmate? Oh, that's the I thing missed, I got. I missed four past achievements. Rip. What just happened? Oh, it booted me. I think... I think maybe if you left, it booted me to the to the title screen. I'm just screen. looking at I'm looking at achievements, just like you. Wait, how did I get on the title screen then? <laughs> this game was like, no, no. <laughs> Interesting. 